Hello and good evening or good afternoon or good morning based on where you are. I'm Candy Michael in Palo, Ohio, and it's a chilly day outside, but it's okay because I've been inside creating some fun gift card holders for you guys. So I hope everybody's doing well. Today, I'm going to show you two different gift card holders, and um, these are really fun and pretty simple to make. So you can reproduce as many as you need for the holidays. So let me get started. My first card, I'm going to be using our ombre bags. These are the bags that Stampin' Up! has, and they are in the in colors. So you get quite a few different colors here. You have the Positively Pink, the Fuchsia, um, the Papaya, Soft Succulent, and the Evening Evergreen. So what's really cool is you can use any of these. You can make. You can also make these birthday gift cards. Uh, gift card holders, but I went ahead and I'm using the soft succulent today. So I'm going to show you my first gift card holder. Um, these do sell for uh, $7 and you get 20 bags. So hi, Terry. Nice to see you. And no, I didn't forget you. I wrote it down. I forgot to type it in. <laughs> so here we go. I'm going to use the evening evergreen ink and the soft succulent ink as well. So this is this is a gift card holder made from a bag. And again, it's the ombre bags. And this is what it looks like. So I'll pull it all together or pull it out so I can show you guys and then I'll show you how I made it. And then the inside here, look at that. Woohoo! It's a fake one that comes in the mail, you know? But I made a little lip on it to hold the gift card. You can always put like a glue dot or something behind it, but I made this with, so it could just have a little shelf. I'm going to call it my shelf to sit on. And then I have another pull out right behind it. And I'm going to show you how this all goes together. So it says it's the most wonderful time of the year. And then you can write your signature on here because you want, you know, to let everybody know who sent the beautiful gift card right? We don't want them to forget. I cannot forget you, Terry. I never will forget you, Terry. <laughs> All right. So I started off again with the um, soft succulent ombre bag. And again, you get 20 of these in the variety of colors. So um, I just, I want to go ahead and show you. I did score it at three inches, going this way at three inches, because I'm now going to fold this up very simply along my score line and yes it will have the lines here from the bag but that's all right because we're going to cover that all up maureen's here hello maureen how are you hope you're doing well i do have a website candystampers.com and i do have a december host code which is listed right here and that will be on my website as well as all the measurements to these projects later on tonight. So yay, yay, yay. Okay, so here's the project. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to recreate that. So I will move some of this stuff and have some elbow room <laughs> to work with. So I went ahead and folded my bag, leaving the shorter part of the bag forward, of course, so that you have your little area to put your cardstock in. And I'm not going to glue any of this. I'm simply going to finish it off by tying it with my ribbon. Um, I have seen them where you can glue them down, which certainly you can, but um, the measurements I'm going to tell you, I did not do any gluing. If you did, they would all have to be a little bit smaller. So first, I started off with the front of my... Um, that I don't know if that why that call came through it shouldn't have but I deleted it um, I used a piece of designer series paper and this is from the tidings of Christmas this is cut at two and three quarters by five and a half and I'm just going to simply glue that on this paper is so pretty I did not bring the package over but it comes as a six by six pack and all of the paper in here is really gorgeous and I just I love this dark um evergreen color it's really cool 
So I'm simply going to put that on and it's going to cover all those lines from the back of the bag. I like that. Next, I'm going to take my piece of evergreen and this is cut, which the measurements will be on my website, I promise you. I did not put the notes on here, but it will be on there. I have time to do that tonight. So this is three and a quarter by four and a half. And this is going to simply just slide in. But before I do that, I want to take my Sahara sand piece. This is three and a half by four and a quarter. Is that right? No. Yes, because this is four and a half. So this will be the next size down. So four and a quarter. So my Sahara sand is three and a half by four and a quarter. And I scored it at three inches. And you're just going to simply fold that up. And that's going to make your little shelf for your gift card to sit on. So this part will get glued on, but first I want to do my stamping. And I like to do my stamping before I glue it on, because if I make a mistake, there's two sides to every piece of paper. And that way I could put it right on there and not have to, to worry about it. All right, so I have my... Um, Let's see what I did on this one. Oh, yeah, we wish you a Merry Christmas is going to go on this one. And I am going to use the darker ink here, the evergreen. Let me move that out of the way. This way I can make sure I get the ink on myself better when I have it positioned in the right spot, <laughs> which seems to always happen. So I just want to... Now, on here, I did not want the words to go too high. So I'm going to go as high as I can. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside, my ink, for a few minutes. And I'm going to glue this right onto here. And of course, not my little ledge, just this part is going to get glued on. And... Whoosh! I love this glue. The Tombow Mono Liquid Glue is my go-to glue. I use it all, oops, I just made that crooked. I use it all the time because I can slide it. If it is crooked, I can slide it right out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. And then this piece will stay up like that because again, that's going to slide in here. And then I'm going to work on the piece that comes out which is, I'll take that one out, and then I'm gonna use this gift card to show you. But the last piece that goes in the upper pocket up here, that's what this is going to look like. So I used the soft succulent cardstock, again, the um, evening evergreen ink, and just onto the white cardstock. Super simple. You guys, making gift card holders out of these bags are so awesome. It's very fast, and it they just really do come out really cool. Okay, so I'm going to set my sample one aside. Let's do our stamping. Now, I want to make sure... I'm always such a messy stamper. I want to make sure I don't smash down on my stamp. I just want to tap it so I don't get any of the ink around the edges, which I tend to do. And on here, I just want to stamp it about in the middle, giving it pressure in the center and on the sides. <laughs> there, the stamping for this project is almost done. So I'm going to let that dry for a quick second and then put my glue on the back here. And you know, you could like with the glue, it's kind of fun because if you're in a goofy mood like I am, you could even like write your name and glue and sign it. <laughs> oh gosh, the fun things we think of, right? When we're talking to ourselves. So simply done, all I have to do is sign my name on here and write a little cute note, put this in the back and then this will get folded up and put in here. Oops, I pushed that down too far. There, was right on my fold. And then we're gonna put this all together and simply tie our ribbon. The ribbon is 15 inches. I don't think I mentioned that. And I tied it off to the side just a little bit over here. 
simply tied a knot so I you can tie a bow if you want a nice big bow um, I just wanted it to have a little texture on the front that has to come up just a little bit there we go and I'm going to tie my square knot. Remember the other day I was talking about square knots? I don't know. How, it, did you go and Google that if you don't know how to tie a square knot? I'm curious if I had any of you guys that went to check it out. Because a square knot, when it's tied in a square knot, your ribbon will lay across this way. If it's not a square knot, it'll go that way. <laughs> so I try to tie all of mine in a square knot. Of course, it depends on the project. Some of them, you want the ribbon going the other direction. So we're simply going to trim this off. This ribbon, by the way, is the Ever Evening Evergreen, and it is called the Chevron Weave Ribbon. You get 10 yards of this, and it's 3 eighths of an inch thick or wide. It's really cool and has an awesome texture to it. So I love this ribbon. And haven't really played with it as much as I had planned on it. So when I saw it sitting there, Oh, I hope that didn't cut me off again because my phone keeps getting these phone calls and it shouldn't. Okay, so I have um, two trees and I use these trees from the Whimsical Trees, which I has been kind of my go-to lately. I, I love this stamp set and sorry to see it be retired. I think it's gorgeous. So make sure you order yours because they're going away and it has these beautiful dies, which... Not all of them are, well, they're in here. But I just kind of tossed this in here so I could put it back on my shelf. So I used um, this tree, and what I did was I stamped it in the soft succulent ink. Here, let me demonstrate that. So I went ahead and used our soft succulent ink. Put this to the side. And I... I'm looking for my stamp. Here it is. And you again, you just want to tap, tap, tap. I just recently, I know I re-inked the other one. I think I inked this one up pretty good. So I had my little scrap here. And I'm going to simply stamp, giving pressure in the center. <gasps> Look at that. How beautiful. And then I am going to stamp it also on the soft succulent cardstock. And I'm going to simply give it some more pressure. No pressure, give it pressure. And now my stamping is done for both projects. So then what I did was I took the die, the tree die that lines up with this, and you'll see how nicely it lines up. And I ran it through my die cutting machine and by the power of television, or Facebook Live, I've already die cut those for you. So that's done. And then what I did on here was I wanted one of the trees to be a little shorter. So this guy is the perfect height. So it will go there. But this one, I just cut a little bit off the bottom. And I saw where my little line was right here and I just kind of followed it. La la la, a little fussy cutting which you guys know is not my favorite thing to do, but look, I survived. I survived fussy cutting. And then this is just going to pop up right there. So simply using my dimensionals. Oh, this is also awesome. Look, a brand new sheet of dimensionals. Not often that I pull those out because I'm usually looking for my little pieces that have scraps on them, but today I said, we are going with a full sheet <laughs> just for you guys. So I hope everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving and had a lot of turkey or whatever your favorite dish. So tell me what your favorite dessert is during Thanksgiving. Are you an apple pie person? Are you a pumpkin pie person? Oh, and when you answer that, tell me if you like regular spray whipped cream or if it's the cool whip that's frozen i bought a bunch of both and everybody just ate whatever was on the table so i don't know if i think the spray the spray uh whipped cream was the winner 
that was the winner in my house. So tell me, what was the winner in your house? What is your favorite dessert for Thanksgiving? And is it something different than a pie? So on this tree, because this one's popped up, I don't want to put a dimensional here because then my tree would be uneven. So just down here on the bottom corner is where I put it. And I don't want a lopsided tree. And then I put it up here at the top. That way it won't be wonky when it lays on the, on the card or on our gift card holder. So then this just simply lays down like that over the ribbon over the ribbon and through the wood. <sighs> okay, so here it is. What do you think? Let me put this other one back together that I've taken apart. So we have this, and again, I will show you what it looks like. So this pulls out. Oh, look, somebody gave me an American Express gift card or just a card, then I can go shopping, right? So we have that. And then we have our little back area. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And you can sign your name and send your little loved ones a note. So here's our first gift card holder. Yay! Isn't that fun and easy? Guys, you can use scraps of paper on the front. You can use different tags on the front. I mean, make it simple. Make it fun. Die cut out stuff from paper. So that's my first one. I'm going to show you two today. So I will jump on the second one. So my second one I've done in the past, but I'm kind of bringing back the card. And I'm looking around on the table because I don't see half of it. I think it's over here. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Found it. Oh my goodness. I had laid it on the other table because that's where I cut it. Okay, so with this one, this is one that I have done in the past, but I'm bringing it back and changing it up a little bit because we were talking gift card holders. And during the week, I will make some other ones that I have found and wanted to create for you. But, you know, so many hours in a day, just so many. So this is what I'm sharing with you today. So on here, I have my base, and I am using the thick... Uh, white base card for my base for the cardstock. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm using my cherry cobbler uh, cardstock. And this is three and a quarter inches by seven and a half inches. And it's scored at three and a half inches. So with this, it'll simply get folded. And you're going to notice that it's not even. And I did that on purpose and I will show you why in one minute here so I want to before I glue that on I want to show you the little pocket that I've created for this card so this one I'm using the evergreen and it's two inches by four and a quarter and I have a piece of designer series paper which is from that same pack of paper and that was the Tidings of Christmas, again, the six by six. And I just really needed a little scrap. So this is one and three quarters by four inches wide. So this is going to be my pocket that's going to sit here. I did notch this out with our uh, circle dies because I just needed it to look like a little pocket. So this will get glued on here and I'm simply going to use our terrible tape. Gosh, I love this terrible tape because I can tear it. So I call it my terrible tape for any of you that are new out there. It really is something I love, love, love. So the cool thing about these gift card holders is it could be a gift card holder. It could be a money holder. Who doesn't like cash? Could be a check holder. You could give them a check. And you guys think about this. You could even make these for graduations, for birthdays, um, and maybe even a just because. Do you ever have to make a just because gift for somebody? Well, there you go. So we're going to just tape the three sides because it's a pocket. And of course, we do not want to, you know, tape it all down. And again, with my pick a tool, I will just pick off the paper. 
and oh, my fingers didn't want to work. I'm going to stand up again here. Oh, hi, Karen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just stood up and took a peek into the camera. So thank you. I'm glad you're here. So this is going to simply line up with everything. It's The pocket is four and a quarter inches long. So it's meant to go right to the edge of your paper. Now, I was telling you earlier that one of these pieces, when I folded it, is shorter. That piece is going to be on the inside. And the reason I did that was because I didn't need it to go all the way down and take up any of my, much of my pocket space, but I do want it to come down and, and hide although the white will be in there too, but to kind of hide my my little notch there. So um, I just, I didn't want, because if I put that and then my white piece on it, it would become very thick inside my pocket. So I just, like I said, I just wanted it to be in there a, a tiny bit. So my white pieces, I've cut two of them because I need one for the front and one for the inside. And these are three and three quarter inches by three inches wide. So three inches by three and three quarters, and you need to cut two of these. So I will simply glue this on, and it will overlap, so you might want to be careful to only put the glue on this. Oh, come on, glue, don't fail me. Try this one. There we go. Now that's what I like. There, now I have a lot of glue. Oops, I should have done my stamping first. Note to self, do your stamping first. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> That's what I always told my children, right? Right, of course. Oh, it's cobbler, not red candy. I also forgot my ink. All right, so we're going to use cherry cobbler ink. And I am going to stamp on the inside with my, I'm going to use that same stamp set that I had before. By the way, I don't think I even told you what stamp set I got those words from. These are the Holly Jolly Wishes. And I love, love, love this um, stamp set because it depends on what kind of a mood you're in and these are great for the gift card holders because you can make them for the kids you can make them more seriously um <laughs> or fun and whimsical for the children so it's kind of your call so that's where i got these words and let's see which ones i want i will use the same stamp that I used on the other card. And this is the, it's the most wonderful time of the year. So we'll put that on the inside here. Okay, and again, oh, I hope I have enough ink on that. It seems as though, oh yes. Felt a little dry, but it's in good shape. View in camera there, oh yeah. So we'll just pop this right up here. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Never said I was a singer. Okay, so let's leave this cherry cobbler pad off to the side. And now we are going to glue this right on here. Just kind of sliding it down in the pocket. And again, I did that so that I could make sure that my little half circle there is, is covered up. You could glue all this down first and then, you know, work with that. But, of course, this is Candy's version. Very, very winging it Wednesday, right? So once I get this down, you can get it in the middle. And with that glue, it's nice because I can kind of slide it around. And then I can pull this up just ooh, a little bit. There, still covered. <laughs> See? Okay. Isn't that cool? So now I have a little pocket that you can throw, like I said, your check. You could put some money. You can put all sorts of fun stuff. All right. So now we want to work on the front. And the front, I'm actually not stamping. I have some die cut pieces. 
and I'm looking on the table to make sure that my die cut pieces made it over here. Oops, they're on the floor. So I was telling you guys last week about our adhesive sheets. Oh my gosh, if you haven't used them, these are our adhesive sheets and they're hard to kind of see in, with all of the lights and stuff. But these adhesive sheets come with 12 and they are six inches across by 12 inches long. So you can get a ton of use out of one sheet. And they only are one-time use. But what the whole idea is, is you put, pick out the cardstock color you want and then you put the sheet of adhesive um, the adhesive sheet on the back. Okay. So I didn't cover the whole thing. I had just grabbed a scrap and I put it on and then you turn it over and you put your dies down and then you run it through your die cutting machine. And when you do that, it then creates, when these pieces pop out, it creates a little sticker. So it just makes it easy when you're using small pieces to not have to use your glue to dot it on. Last week when I did my live, I sh told you I would show you how that worked and I forgot. When I finished, it was sitting next to me and I forgot to tell you. So I got to use it again this time. So these dies are the Word Wishes dies and they have Merry Christmas, they have a Happy, and then they have Easter, Birthday, all sorts of fun things in there. So I die cut them out, but first I want to go ahead and put all this together. So again, this is some of that fun paper we've been using. I just decided to use the same paper pack to make it easy. You know, we buy all this beautiful paper and then we want to keep it. But no, 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 you have to cut it up and glue it down. Let's use that paper. And you get a lot of pieces in here. Well, that's not perfectly straight, but or in the center, but you get the idea. Okay, so here's one of the words that I cut out, Christmas. And then to get that adhesive off the back, you simply just pull it apart. And now I have my glue right on here, and I don't have to worry about um, putting glue on it and fussing with it, because I can just pull this off. And then if you have any of the little, like on here, can you see the little S has some parts stuck in there? I just pull them out or stick them on like my finger. So when I pull it off, they're no longer in the middle of that die. So now I have to work on getting them off my fingers, but they're no longer on, on my paper here. All right. So this is going to simply get glued down and then... Ooh, ah, I am using our beautiful, wonderful snowflakes. That's what they're called, wonderful snowflakes. And these have an iridescent look to them. Again, I'm trying to get the, not have the glare on them, but they have a beautiful iridescent glare to them. And I just think they're so beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down flat. A little bit of glue here. Ooh, that's a lot of bit of glue. Not a little bit of glue, it's a lot of bit of glue. So I'm gonna pull that up right about there. Does that look good? <laughs> sure, looks perfect. And then I'm going to um, use a die, which is this gorgeous stitched snowflake. And this is from the gorgeous stitched snowflakes dies, hence the name. Look at how pretty that is. So this little one was just the perfect size that I wanted. And now I'm going to use one of our smaller dimensionals. And I'm going to simply pop the smaller one because I think the bigger one might show through. But I'm going to just simply pop that up. Isn't that cute? And then I'm going to take off the backing of the Mary. These adhesive sheets really do make your life so much easier. They make paper crafting so much easier. Once you can get the backing off. <laughs> Come on, paper. There we go. I'm just stretching my M a little bit. 
but nothing has been injured or damaged in the making of this video. Okay, so now this is going to simply pop up, which these letters on here, these these um, words and stuff, oh, that's not where I wanted that. The M is going to lead the way because the M, they're kind of whimsical, I guess is the word I would use. Oh my gosh, I'm getting stuck on everything. But I want the M to kind of lead the way. There we go. And I wanted it to go right over the top of that. Isn't that pretty? So far, so good. Do you like it? And then this is going to get glued right here. What do you guys think? I have to go back and check and see what you said about your favorite Thanksgiving dessert. Well, now we can all start thinking about our favorite Christmas dessert or Hanukkah, however you celebrate your holidays. And you'll have to tell me what your favorite foods are because there's such a variety. And we all like different stuff. Okay, so I'm going to use some of our rhinestone gems and I want the big one, the big one. And I'm going to pop it up right there because it just needed that extra little bling. I love cards with bling. Oh, and look at how cute. I'll use a little one right there to dot my eye in Christmas. What do you think? One of each? I don't know, maybe I need another one. Oh, why not? The more, the merrier. And we'll just put this one right over here. Oh yeah, I like it. Do you guys like it? So those are my two fun cards I wanted to share with you today. Check this out, it's a nice gift card holder. I did quite a few of these um, last year and I wanted to bring it back around. I have tons of ideas for you guys and I really do wanna show you some more. So I will be posting during the week um, some more fun gift card holders for you. I hope you enjoyed and will join me next week on December 11th at 411 for some, for the 411 and stamping fun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a great week and thanks again for joining me. We will talk soon. Bye.